The following video contains excerpts from our Day 1 UC on C series ESXi Host Network Configuration Playbook. For a complete configuration guide, subscribers can download the playbook from our website. Welcome to our drawing. Day 1 C series server deployment for Cisco Collaboration ESXi Host Network Configuration using Console. In this drawing, we'll look at the initial configuration of ESXi network settings using the ESXi console. We can't access the server using the vSphere GUI until this is done. Here are the Day 1 tasks for Cisco Collab on C-Series. On Day 1, we deploy the C-Series server itself. On Day 1, we also deploy the hypervisor, our ESXi host. Only a subset of the tasks are required for BE deployment. We'll run through everything for UC on C-Series. Our ESXi host network configuration via console tasks are Access the VMware console Change the ESXi host password Configure the vSwitch0 uplinks Configure the ESXi host IP address Configure DNS, host name, and DNS suffixes Download and install the vSphere client and access the vSphere GUI. Here's the networking we're concerned about in this drawing, enabling access to the VM kernel. Our ESXi host will be on the production hypervisor VLAN. The two rightmost LOM ports will be configured as uplinks for vSwitch 0. The networking diagram shown here is for the VE6000 medium density server but it will work for any C-series having only the LAN on motherboard card. Click on Launch KVM Console or the icon in the toolbar to launch a KVM session. Press F2 to configure the ESXi host via the console. The password is indicated as set. Change the password now if you have a BE by selecting Configure Password and press Enter. The rest of the configuration is done in the Configure Management Network menus. Select Configure Management Network and press Enter. The first item under Configure Management Network is Network Adapters. By default, only the first adapter is configured as an uplink for vSwitch 0. Select Network Adapters to add the second VM NIC. The next thing to configure is the VM Kernel VLAN. By default, the VM Kernel is configured as an access VLAN. We are using a trunk and connecting the VM Kernel to the production hypervisor VLAN. Select VLAN and press Enter. The next thing to configure is the IP address and gateway of the VM Kernel. Select IP Configuration and press Enter. Select Set Static IP Address in Network Configurations and press the spacebar. Enter the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway and press Enter. Double click on the vSphere client shortcut. Enter the IP address of your ESXi host and use root and your password to log in. Click Ignore to any security warning. You can now access the vSphere GUI using the vSphere client. Now you are ready to continue the ESXi host configuration using the vSphere client. You can hit Control shift h to get this view. Now we have an initial network configuration and can access the ESXi host using the vSphere GUI. We can't install our Cisco collaboration apps until the ESXi host is fully configured using the vSphere client. Do this next. Coming up next, Day 1, Cisco collaboration on C-Series server deployment, ESXi host configuration using vSphere GUI. Thanks for watching.